हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू करियर कंपास दिस दीपन घाटलिया योर ट्यूटर फॉर ए सी सी यू के टेक्स एंड एस वी एल पेपर नाउ स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द न्यू चैप्टर व्हिच इज द कॉर्पोरेशन टैक्स कंप्यूटेशन दिस इज अ वेरी बेसिक काइंड ऑफ द चैप्टर वेयर वी विल गोइंग टू जस्ट सी द बेसिक एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द कॉर्पोरेशन टैक्स प्रोफॉर्मा एंड द सम रिलेटेड एस्पेक्ट स्टूडेंट्स बट वी कैन से दैट द इंपॉर्टेंट कांसेप्ट्स आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट वीडियोस now the first concept is the residential status of the companies just like in the individuals also students uh, over here the residential status will be the important one to determine the taxability there are two status for the company students the either the company can be uk resident or the company can be non uk resident but if the company becomes the uk resident then the worldwide income will become taxable so that's why it's very important over here to determine that whether the company is a uk resident or not now students how to determine the whether the company is uk resident or not first of all if the company have incorporated in the uk then obviously that company will become uk resident but let's say suppose company have not been incorporated in the uk but then the next question we have to ask is that whether the company is managed centrally and controlled in the uk like holding an agm in the uk and having the directors meeting in the uk or like that if the company is centrally managed or controlled in the uk then also students the company will become the uk resident company now students the next concept is what can be the period of account now basically what is period of account it's nothing but a simple pnl period student pnl can be anything pnl can be longer shorter it can be generally 12 month period but it can be longer and shorter also but now students the important thing over here is the chargeable accounting period it's nothing but the period to which we will going to pay the corporation tax the cap can be 12 month or less but it cannot be more than 12 month now let's see when the cap will start and when the cap will going to end now you can see on the screen student there are both the kinds of the list are available over here generally as i told you the cap cannot be more than 12 months so we have to keep that in mind but you can see students that there are two aspects where the cap can be started if it's your first year then the cap will start when you will start your business students but if it's your normal year then you have to see the last years uh, cap when exactly is the last year's cap is ending and then accordingly you have to start your new cap okay so that's why it's written when previous cap ends now let's come to the next aspect which is the when cap will going to end if whenever you have started your cap within 12 month it will going to end obviously students but apart from that students you can end your cap early also if students you are you are having the short accounting period or whether you can say that you are seizing your business or whether you are seizing your residential status in the uk students anything can happen so that's why the four aspects are given on the right hand side part students the when cap will going to end that is a kind of the theory students i don't think that it is that much important for the examination right but still it's an important it's a very basic aspect for the examination and for the whole syllabus of the corporation tax so it should not be avoided now students the next aspect is the proforma for computation of the corporation tax students you can see over here that we have taken up all the kinds of the incomes of the company that company can have the trading profit interest income foreign sources income rental income cgt yes students uh, the capital gains will also going to be taxed along with the other income it is not having a separate tax rates or anything the all the kinds of the incomes of the company will be uh, totaled up over here it will be written one by one you have to calculate the total profit then after the next deduction is towards the qualifying charitable donation we will going to see the details of the qcd students don't worry in 2 minutes but once you deduct your qcd you will going to have total taxable profit that is called ttp total taxable profit on that total taxable profit you have to apply the tax rate of 19 percentage and once you are having your tax liability then after you can get the double taxation relief if you are having anything the advanced taxation students may have this ddr concept in their syllabus but the fundamental taxation students do not have this uh, concept in their syllabus so once they are having their 19 percentage corporation tax liability that amount will become their full and final corporation tax payable 
ओके सो हियर वी आर डन दिस विद दिस प्रफॉर्मा ऑल्सो स्टूडेंट नेक्स्ट एस्पेक्ट इज द क्यू सी डी नाउ क्वालिफाइंग चेरिटेबल डोनेशन स्टूडेंट्स इट द नेम इट सेल्फ इज सेइंग दैट इट्स नथिंग बट इट्स योर चेरिटेबल डोनेशन इफ यू और इफ द कंपनी हैव मेड एनी काइंड ऑफ द डोनेशन देन दे कैन डिडक्ट दैट अमाउंट फ्रॉम हियर इन द प्रफॉर्मा आफ्टर गेटिंग दर होल टोटल प्रॉफिट but let's say suppose that you are having the total profit of 10000 pound and uh, you have the qc does of 15000 pound so the most important thing for the examination is that what you will going to do with that excess donation because you are having just and just total profit of 10000 pound but you have made donation of 15000 pound what you will going to do generally the answer will be student that whatever 5000 excess donation you have available with you for deduction will going to be wasted it cannot be carried forward or it cannot be carried back but students if you are a part of the 75 percentage group then you can going you can claim the group relief you can transfer your excess qcds to other group members okay so you have to keep that in mind it's a very important rule for the examination now the next concept is students um long accounting period we have seen that the period of account or pnl can be the longer one but chargeable accounting period which means cap cannot be the longer accounting period so for the taxation purpose longer accounting period is not allowed so if you have prepared your pnl of 16 months it is okay according to the ifrs maybe it is according to uh, local accounting standard it, it, it is okay but hmrc will not allow you to have the long accounting period for taxation purpose then what we need to do students we have to simply split the whole accounting period into the two part the first part will be the full 12 month and the second part will be the remaining months so if you are having the 16 months of the long accounting period it will be the two parts will be 12 months and 4 months right here students we are having like kind of the rules while splitting the accounting period like if you are having the interest income how you will going to split that interest income so you can see on the screen students that uh, interest income will have the accrual method of splitting the income the cgt will going to if you are having a capital gain of 16 months it will going to be splitted according to the disposal dates capital allowance pro forma will be prepared separately for each periods the trading profit will be time apportioned students and the rental income once again will be calculated according to accrual basis so there are lots of incomes are there and you have to allocate according to that particular rule students and the last concept is the financial year students in the individual taxation students we have were having the concept of tax year so now what does it mean by financial year students basically according to me students the financial year and the individuals or income tax is tax year both are kind of the same the concept is the same but just the difference is that that tax year will start from 6th april and it will end at 5th april in the income tax but under the corporation tax students the tax year which is the financial year will start from 1st april and it will end on 31st march so for our financial year uh, 2020 it will going to start from 1st april 2020 and it will end on 31st march 2021 So I hope you are getting this point. Even if you have any query, feel free to ask me. So don't forget to watch the, our upcoming videos and subscribe to the channel if you are liking this concept. Thank you, guys. See you. Bye.